as per weather? Uh, as per weather, uh, currently, as you're aware, uh, two main phenomena are dominating the Indian subcontinent. Uh, one is the rainfall and associated thunderstorm activity, uh, which is mainly over uh, east uh, northeast India, mainly Sabhimal and West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya. Uh, even today, exceptionally heavy rainfall was recorded over Meghalaya. So next three to five days, we are expecting exceptionally heavy rainfall, extremely heavy rainfall, which is above 20 centimeters over uh, northeast India, mainly Meghalaya, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, and uh, maybe Nagaland, Manipur. Uh, we are also expecting uh, heat wave conditions. This is the other phenomenon which is affecting the Indian subcontinent, uh, mainly over the plains, or, or not just plains, entire North India. So if you see this particular map, as you can see that, uh, in fact, in terms of realized uh, heat uh, temperatures and uh, daytime as well as nighttime, we are uh, receiving heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over the North Indian plains and uh, heat wave also over the Western Himalayan region and also warm night conditions over the plains of India. Accordingly, we have uh, issued a red alert uh, today, the 17th of June, over Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, Punjab, Haryana, including Delhi, and uh, yellow alert, uh, yellow to orange alert for, uh, sorry, yellow alert for the hills. Uh, maybe uh, Uttarakhand, we are issuing orange alert today. And uh, we are also issuing uh, uh, yeah, this uh, thunderstorm-related orange alerts for the uh, region of Madhya Pradesh, where uh, severe thunderstorms associated li with lightning uh, is likely to cause a uh, lot of human casualties. Talking of heat waves in general, the core heat wave zone continues to be over Uttar Pradesh. Uh, we were expecting the easterly uh, flow to pick up because of which we had even for the last two, three days, we were expecting a, a decrease in heat wave conditions over Bihar, Jharkhand, but that looks to be a little postponed. So heat wave conditions, severe heat wave conditions are likely to continue today over Bihar and Jharkhand. Tomorrow also over Bihar, a red alert will continue, after which we expect uh, easterly winds to penetrate into East India and heat wave conditions to decrease. Uttar Pradesh is likely to have severe heat wave conditions and warm night conditions. So a uh, so warm night would mean that minimum temperatures are much above normal. So warm night to severe warm night, which means uh, maximum temperatures above uh, 40 degrees Celsius and minimum temperatures uh, uh, 6.5 degrees Celsius or more above the normal value. So when these two are uh, uh, are occurring over a station, heat wave as well as warm night, the impact is much more. Accordingly, we are giving severe heat wave conditions uh, over Uttar Pradesh for next three to four days with red alert. Punjab, Haryana, we are giving today. And uh, tomorrow onwards, we'll go with orange alert, though uh, heat severity will stay, but region will decrease. Delhi, we are giving red alert for two days. So uh, as you talked about red alerts to different different states that uh, IMD has issued, first of all, you can explain uh, in normal terms what red alert is to the people. Red alert is the highest level of warning, weather warning that India Meteorological Department issues. This current, uh, this red alert is issued based on two things. One is the impact, likely impact, and the second is the uh, probability, not just uh, severe weather, but its probability also. When we are issuing red alert for North India, as we have, as I've just mentioned, it is taking into account not only the heat wave conditions, but also warm night conditions, because of which the impact on people, animals, plants is much more. And associated with it, there are strong loo winds blowing, which is 25 to 35 kilometer per hour. And uh, this winds with 45 to 47 degrees Celsius temperature has, has uh, the, uh, can cause severe dehydration in people who are moving outside the home. So that is why red alert has been given, take immediate action.
Is there uh, any relief that people can have in coming next few days? Uh, we are expecting a western disturbance. Like I just mentioned, over Bihar and Jharkhand, uh, easterlies will penetrate, so there is a chance of fall in maximum temperatures from tomorrow or the day after. But over Punjab, Haryana, which is the western end of the Indian subcontinent, we are expecting a western disturbance to come closer. So southwesterly winds from the Arabian Sea may bring some moisture and associated relief over Punjab and Haryana from day uh, tomorrow or the day after. Uh, also, if we can talk about monsoon, is it, uh, is it normal that uh, monsoon is not, uh, has not arrived yet or when can we expect something? Monsoon is, uh, firstly over northwest India, the normal date of monsoon is 27th to 30th June, so we still have a lot of time. But, uh, and prior to the monsoon, this kind of humid, hot weather is a very normal phenomenon. Uh, but in fact, for other regions also, this kind of, uh, the climatological date is only an indicator, long-term indicator of the monsoon arrival. A couple of days before or after is not a very significant factor in meteorological terms for uh, seasonal rainfall or monsoon activity in general because monsoon advance is something that we give on the basis of large scale weather not just on the basis of clouding so we have to look for wind, move, wind field and persistence of the rainfall pattern uh, the distribution all these things are taken into account before we can advance the monsoon so this is still not a point to worry about because a couple of days delay in some areas and a couple of days advance in some areas has no effect on the total monsoon rainfall. Last ma'am, what precautions people should take when they are uh, bearing such heat waves? This is a, like, as you are already aware, this is a long spell with few intervals in between uh, of heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over entire India. We have had the first spell of heat waves over East and East Peninsular India. Uh, the second and the third, so to say, were because they were separated by four to five days in between. That has happened over northwest India. But in this kind of heat wave, to severe heat wave conditions, such long periods, uh, not only humans but plants and animals are also equally affected. So if possible, uh, do not go out of the house between 11 to 4 p.m. Uh, even very healthy people can fall sick. Uh, please wear loose-fitting cotton clothes drink a lot of water, water-based foods, and uh, the moment you feel slightly dehydrated or any signs of heat impact starts on your body, immediately go into the shade and take precaution. Do not do any outside activities during this period of the day, during these next few days. Last question, one more I forgot to ask. When was the last time Delhi particularly experienced uh, or uh, IMD has issued red alert warning to Delhi? We have had red alert warnings during in the, because this is a, uh, you remember the, first, the earlier phase of uh, heat waves was from 15th to uh, 2nd of June, 2nd or 3rd of June over northwest India. So during that period, there were a few days when red alert was issued over uh, Delhi and adjoining areas. Thank you.